millions of police records are no longer online after an Indianapolis man reaches out to RTV6 for help. You see, the police report that he bought online for $5 had personal information which should not have been seen. Click, click, click. That's it. Pay five bucks and you're on. David Leeper needed a police report. It involves an incident from 2001 when he was 18. The now 37-year-old bought an online police report and was surprised that social security numbers were on it. I believe this was an oversight, had to be an oversight for, for socials to be easily accessible like that. I never ever want someone to be able to easily access my information and utilize my credit. Worked really hard to improve it. I'd hate for somebody to come through and wreck it in a reckless shopping spree. I asked David not to post anything on social media until the issue was fixed. RTV6 contacted Metro Police. Within hours, uh, there was no trace of any of those reports. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Nearly 3 million incident reports from the years 2000 through 2013 are no longer available online as a precaution. The ability to buy a police report online is a convenience. There are many reasons why someone may need one, including to file an insurance claim to learn more about the history of a home before buying it or to conduct an informal background check. 2,948,000 and of those we believe an extremely small number contained any personally identifiable information uh, that was ultimately available to be purchased online and then we believe it's an even smaller number that were actually purchased online. Metro Police has asked its vendor to scrub the affected reports. It's unclear when they'll show up again online. We have um, employed safeguards uh, throughout the years to protect the privacy and the personal information of our uh, victims and people involved in incidents uh, that we become involved with. So, Raphael, some police reports are still available through the city's website. Yeah, those other reports were on the old system. The reports on the new system, which are the years 2013 through today, are still available online for purchase and are safe. But if you need a police report from the years 2000 through 2013, you will need to drive to the city county building in downtown Indianapolis and check in with the IMPD help desk. The report from those years will be reviewed and, if necessary, personal information will be redacted before it is passed out. Again, all the reports that are affected have been removed. In fact, we waited until the reports were all moved, which took a couple of days. That's why there's a delay in reporting for us, because we did not want a criminal to think, hey, let me go online and steal Take a report. Take advantage. It's not available. So if you're a crook, don't try it. They've pulled the reports. All right, Raphael. And if you need to see what and what you can and cannot get online, we have this complete story for you right now on the RTV6 app.